It's something that we all use on a daily basis. Something with immense power. Perhaps the most powerful thing that humanity has at its disposal. The power to create, but also, also to destroy. I'm talking about language, but more importantly, words. Words that we all use as mundane tools of our existence. When I speak of words and their effect, I'm sure that many of you will conjure images of uncomfortably warm afternoons spent in classrooms dissecting unintelligible speeches by long dead politicians. But I tell you today, those words have power. Power that you can harness in everyday life. What if I told you that just through use of words you could evoke fear, anger, paranoia, anxiety, but equally joy, elation, and most importantly, hope. Every great conflict in history has been, in at, le in part, at least part, caused by conflicting ideologies. Ideologies and beliefs proliferated by language. We all have this power at our fingertips on a daily basis, but so often, we let it go to waste. There's that old adage, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words alone can't hurt me. This, I'm sure we all know, is a fallacy. Anyone who's been at the sharp end of a cheap jibe, an offhand comment, knows how painful words can be. But equally, every great achievement in human history has been facilitated by communication. The pyramids could not have been built without words. Communication between engineers and builders. So I implore you. Next time you speak, remember, the words you use are the same words, not necessarily in the same order or tone, or even language. But nonetheless, the same words that rose skyscrapers from the ground and sent man into space. Equally, they're the words that convinced thousands of German fascists to commit the worst atrocity known to man. Words have power. Use them wisely.